My name is Dr. Sylvester Hackworth. I'm a division chair of natural sciences and I teach at Bishop State Community College. This area of the state, and particularly Mobile, we are really booming at this time in high-tech jobs. Uh, so we are going towards that area to make sure that our students are ready and career ready for those things. In this day and age, not just at Bishop State, but at the collegiate level, just in learning in general, we focus on active learning, where we have the students that are involved, not just the old style lecture type style. Students have moved away from that. We educators have moved away from that type of teaching. So Z-Space plays a part in that where we bring the students in and they see something different. The student is engaged and take part of their own learning. My typical classroom session looks like is that I try to reach all the different learning styles at some point throughout a unit. I'm average on a unit for about two weeks. No two students learn the same, so you might say one thing this way to the student to get it, so you say it two other three different ways for the student to get it, and you want to make sure that happens. So my classroom looks like uh, in a unit that you'll see various different types of activities going on, anything from using Z space, anything to even like glue out, scissors out, pacing pieces of processes together. They do get your traditional lecture. I tend to lecture in a manner where students don't know that I'm lecturing. I always have something hands on for me to do, and I can walk around in small group settings just as I do a Z-Space. All right, so today we go to Z-Space lab, you're going partners of two, all right? You need one lab book and one textbook. One person in the group have their lab book and one have their textbook, because that's going to be your source, because when you go and start trying to find parts that you don't know, you use either source that you want to to help find your part. Last week, we started the respiratory system. For today, once again, I'm bringing them in for the Human Anatomy Atlas app that I'll be using, and we're doing the respiratory anatomy scavenger hunt. I'm taking Z space and I'm actually taking the quiz section using it as a scavenger hunt where we play a role where the students are not using the typical models that they usually use and they will be going through about 45 different parts of where they're identifying parts of the respiratory system. So once again this is a scavenger hunt so to speak. Uh, obviously it tells you what you're looking for so obviously you can use your lab book or your textbook in your own brain. Start to put things to memory. All right, so you count on your ball as you need me. Call me. So, and the real thing that I really do like about Z Space in the end, that when I prepare my materials or prepare my lesson plan, so to speak, that I can use it as an I. Uh, activity, which means inquiry, introductory, where I'm not really looking for match. I'm looking to do something that gets your attention. I can use it for that. Then I can turn around and actually use it for my true teaching, things that I do need for you to hold on to as you go forward. I then can turn around and use these space to actually test you on in a way that's very similar to especially your allied health students are going to be tested because when they do their boards and things of that nature, it's computerized. So it's good now for them to start to get in the feeling of how that's going to be so they don't have a culture shock when they get into their fields of study. I've been teaching for 26 years. I've taught at all levels of learning. Students today are different from the students that I taught when I first started teaching. Why? The world has changed. Technology has changed. But that's what we must do to embrace them. You're preparing a child or student to go out into the real world if you don't change and they don't see what you do in the classroom and can relate that to what they will see on their job. They walk out and say, mm, I was not prepared. This is the type of technology they're going to be using at work or on the jobs that they are currently on. Since once again we do tr train a lot of nurses and PTA students, a lot of things they work with on the floor is this type of technology. So now they're kind of getting what I call the introductory factory, uh, where you can say, hmm, I did something like this before I actually got into nursing or PTA. Now that I'm actually using this type of equipment, it's not that I have not seen it before. So now I'm familiar with this and I now can move it on to the mastery level that I need to be successful at my job. 